Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him! Celebrating Shakespeare at 39,000 feet. On this flight from Gatwick to Verona, the Bard's complete works, from Macbeth to Romeo and Juliet, were performed for passengers. Back on the ground, William Shakespeare's 450th birthday celebrations continued. Might bear his memory. Some of his sonnets read by the Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor Damien Lewis at Guildhall Library. You know, Shakespeare is arguably our greatest export and there might even be an argument for that economically, I, I'd suggest, but certainly in, as, in terms of a brand, you know, they don't come much bigger. And, um, you know, he is taught in schools to half of the world's children, that's 65 million children. <laughs> Everyday school trips and tourists from around the world come here to the Globe Theatre to get the Shakespeare experience. To be or not to be, that is a question. And today some were lucky enough to see the cast of Hamlet rehearsing. <laughs> Now, to celebrate Shakespeare's 450th birthday, the Globe is taking its production of Hamlet on a two-year world tour. It'll visit every single country on Earth, performing everywhere from village squares and beaches to national theatres and palaces. Although he was born in Stratford-upon-Avon, many argue that Shakespeare was a Londoner. He helped define London, and most of his plays were about London, uh, whether they're set in ancient Rome or Elsinore or... Uh, Paris or Vienna or wherever, they're, they're essentially about London and he didn't only reflect the London um, that he wrote about, he also helped to create London. While his works are more than 400 years old, his popularity hasn't aged today. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.